Hello Space Explorers On July 20, 1969 Millions of people gather around the television to watch Two US astronauts do something no one had ever done before Wearing bulky space suits and backpack of oxygen to breathe Neil Armstrong and Edwin become the first human being to walk on the moon Mr. Rex after the two stepped onto the lunar surface, Armstrong proclaimed these famous words. That's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. It started when President John F. Kennedy issued a challenge to the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. In short, NASA to put a human on the moon in 10 years or less. NASA went to work. On July 16, 1969, the spacecraft Apollo 11 prepared to launch a crew of three astronauts into space and the history book. NASA officials selected Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins as the astronaut who would make the historic trip from Earth on Apollo 11. Just four days after launching from Kennedy Space Center in Florida, the space car neared the moon's surface. Before touching down, the three men split up. Colin boarded Apollo 11 common module, the Columbia, where he would remain in orbit around the moon. Armstrong and Aldrin boarded Apollo 11 lunar module, the Eagle, and began to descend to the moon's surface. The Eagle made a risky landing in a shallow moon crater named the Sea of Tranquility. Most people watching the landing on TV didn't know that the Eagle had only 20 seconds of landing fuel left at this point. Armstrong and Eldrain look out the window of the module at the lightless and barren lunar landscape. After six and a half hours, the pair inside the Eagle prepared to exit the module. As mission commander, Armstrong stepped out first and became the first person on the moon. 20 minutes later, Aldrin climbed down the ladder and joined his partner. After reading a plaque that said, they came in peace for all mankind. The two planted the United States flag on the surface. President Richard Nixon called to congratulate the astronaut. Armstrong and Aldrin went back to work collecting samples of moon rocks and dust. After over two hours, the astronaut brought 47 pounds back onto the lunar module and prepared to rejoin Colin. It was time to go home. The Apollo 11 crew returned to Earth on July 24, 1969. Over the next several years, 10 astronauts would follow in Armstrong and Aldrin's footsteps. The last mission to the moon was in 1972. Though humans haven't returned to the moon since, they have continued to explore space. They even built International Space Station, a space research station, where they can conduct experiment and study space up close. Isn't it fascinating? Today, NASA is working on sending humans to another planet, Mars. Thank you to the Apollo 11 moon landing, NASA is hopeful about its chances. The act of pulling these people on the moon and then safely bringing them back home proved that successful human exploration in space is possible. Isn't it fascinating?